welcome back to everybody for some more of my Veracruz career mode for my FIFA 19, which is actually my final episode. And this really was not what I was expecting at all. As you can see here, I've been fired from Veracruz, despite me winning the Apertura. See, what I did was I, saw, I was able to sign a few more um, free agents, higher rated free agents. And I sold players like Menendez and Abrigo, bringing more money so I can bring in free agents. And I actually had a pretty good um, squad. As a matter of fact, I even bought Marilyn Fellaini off of a free. And, um, yeah, I don't know what this is about. <laughs> I don't know how I got fired despite me winning silverware already for this. But, um, yeah, I thought that I had a much better team. but And I actually fast-forwarded throughout this entire Klausura. But uh, apparently the board had short patience with me, and let's see, my contract is terminated. That's it. Let's see. Look a second. Let me just do this. Th this has never happened to me before. I honestly, I, I don't even know what's happening right now. I mean, let's see. The season didn't even end yet. How low am I? See, I'm... How did I get fired? But anyway, I'm not doing an Ecoxa career mode. But, um... Okay, it looks like my leading goal scorer was Carrasco with six. Michaels had six. Brett Michaels was another free agent that I had. Um, assists. Nobody really there. Clean sheets. Becker had five clean sheets. And I'll show you my um, aperture. Oh, crap. You see, Colin Kasim Richards was my leading goal scorer in Aperture with 33, Caraba second with 15, Carrasco third 13, Nene with 11, Assists, Caraba with 30, uh, Carrasco with 26. Okay, let's just. Yeah, I am in shock right now. Let me just see what's. I'm not surprised Teddy has been announced a new face in Nicoxa. Sadly, I do want to do a career mode with Nicoxa, but it will not be right now. Let's see. Let's try this again. I'm just going to go ahead and sim through and see if the same thing happens. But I pretty much showed you guys all that I wanted to as it is. But uh, let me just try this again. Sim to the date. Yeah, when I I actually left the room while I was I was simming throughout this calendar, and when I came back and saw that notice that I was terminated from my job, I I was shocked. And I mean, it I was in a Legia position. I don't and I I don't understand. And with the team that I have, there should be no reason why I should have been fired. Let's see if I get fired again. Hopefully I won't. <laughs> yeah, I, I would understand if I was out of a playoff position and I would end up getting fired, but... Looks like I did make the Legia at least, which is nice. I did not lose my job, but... Anyway, I'm not really interested on... Chance window, he wants to be sold, he wants to be sold. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, show you my starting 11. And quite a few players injured, as you can see, Schultz has a band-aid. He's one of my um, free agents. Aziz is another one of my free agents. Russell Campbell, my striker, is from Canada, is a 78 rating. Aponza is a 76. My team looks very good. Let me just go ahead and save this. 
But yeah, I really don't care what happens at this point because I don't see me... This may end up being a long episode, but I just want to see what happens here. At least I made the Klausura a tournament. I'm just gonna go ahead and sim past this. Hopefully, I'll make the semifinals. If not, I don't. I could care less. I got. I got a one. Oh, I made it to the semifinals against Tigrace. Let's sim to this. I would be shocked if I made it to another final. I don't think that's gonna happen, but I will be shocked if I make another final. And I don't think I did. I think that's pretty much it. And I think that's it. So I won the Aperture and I made it to the semifinals of the uh, the um, Klausura. And I don't think there's going to be a Super Cup at the end that I'm going to be playing. So I think that actually starts next season, unfortunately. Let me just, let me just sim to this date. Maybe it just didn't show up yet. Uh, let me sim here. Let me sim to the 29th. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to be playing a Super Cup, unfortunately, so this might end up being the end of my career mode. But yeah, this is actually going to be a short video after all, but, uh... Yeah, like I said before, this really has not been a fun team to do career mode with. I kind of wish I would have done that financial takeover, but considering that I only did this one season, it was kind of a waste. But it was nice to see... Uh, being able to play in the, uh, Mexican League, at least. At least I can say that I've done that. A lot of, um... Kind of, uh, international offers being refused. Okay. Okay, there's the Aperture Finals. So you, you know that I... Won that. Tigres ends up winning, uh, ends up beating America 2 1 on aggregate after a 0 0 second leg. As you can see there, I lost to Tigres. America beat Monterey. Of course, I beat Cruz Azul. Tigres went on to beat Santos Laguna in the uh, quarterfinals. And I finished fourth. I, I mean, that's a pretty respectable position. I was eight points ahead of ninth place and eight points behind first place. So I was right smack in the middle. Ten wins, two draws, and five losses. I'd say that's a pretty good season. I'm sure a lot of Veracruz fans would have been taking that right about now. Maybe if they would have been like this in real life, they would be surviving for another season. But, hey, I just wanted to see how that went. And, um, of course, last video, you got to see me win the Aperture. And, unfortunately, I am not starting a new season. I, I am not doing it. So, it's if there is a Super Cup at the end, it's just not going to be played. But, uh, at least I did win the Aperture, which is good enough, but I did want to see whether or not it would be in June, but apparently it's not. I know, I think in real life that it's right after the season, if I remember correctly, but, uh, let me just think to see if there's anything that I wanted to show off here real quickly before I end the series. Um, might as well show the squad report while I'm at it. So Leonard Becker, he was a free agent, so was this guy, so was this guy, so was this guy, so was this guy. He was a free agent, he was a free agent, he's a free agent. He was p original part of the team, he was a free agent, he's a free agent, free agent, part of the team, free agent, part of the team, part of the team, part of the team. 
Colin Kazee Richards, I'm going to be losing him to Gang Gomp when his contract expires, but I'm not fa fast forwarding through a season. Salcedo went down by one, his contract will be expiring. And the rest of these are pretty much fringe players, but. Let me just show off some of these stats here. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else? I did not do a second lineup like I usually do. Mm. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else I want to show off. Which, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm saving this one last time. And I can't think of anything else to show off, so I think I'm going to end this series here. I mean... It's been fun in some aspects. It was really not fun on others, especially when I was off camera. It was nice seeing them lift a trophy, the Aperture trophy, which was awesome. And, um, yeah, it's unfortunate that the winner, the Aperture, and the Klauser couldn't meet at the end of the season like I am right now. But, like I said, I'm not going to fast forward through another season. And, um, yeah, um... I have mixed feelings about this career mode. Like I said, it was nice being able to do a Mexican team for once playing in the Mexican League. And I have developed a bit of a soft spot for Veracruz, but then again, you know, they this really is not a good team and it should not be surprised to anybody why they ended up getting relegated. And it looks very likely they will not be in FIFA 20, so this is going to be the last FIFA they'll be in for at least a couple years, so... But yeah, this was a really interesting career mode. I mean, I'm glad that I was able to do it, but uh, there's so many other career modes I want to start. Like I said in uh, a couple videos ago, I'm probably going to end up either doing a Sheffield United or a Leeds United career mode right after this one. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that, and I will be doing a financial takeover for that. That way I won't have to deal with a team nearly as bad as the team that I've had right here with this Veracruz team. So... But yeah, that, that pretty much wraps it up, so thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.